What do you think you're doing? You shouldn't be doing that, right? Put the phone down and go back to what you were doing before. You heard me. Just put the phone down and go back to what you were doing before. I've got to do this. I've got to do this. You talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? I've got to do this. Well, then who the hell else are you talking to? Talking to me? I've got to do this. I've got to do this. Well, I'm the only one here. You know, uh, I uh, love my wife a lot, yeah? Uh, well, uh, I told her, you know, if she loved someone else, all she's got to do is just let me know. I would have helped her. Because all I wanted was just to, just for her to be happy. That's all. You've got to come and take the dead body, right? What do you mean by come and collect the dead body? I killed her. I killed her. Killed my wife. What's your name, mate? My name? Drew. D H. R-U-P Your wife's name? Sam uh, Samira S-A-M-E-R-A Okay Okay Well, I Now we both know Samira, that's a lie. Are you taking the medicines which the doctor asked you to? Because I don't think they're working. There's nothing wrong with me, Samira. I have to see him once a week because of you. Stop picking false with me. Oh, you blame everything on me. Maybe you need to be more honest with yourself. You know where she's going with this, right? Who is this? But where is this voice coming from? You can't see me. You can only hear me. Because I'm you. No. I'm your inner voice. This can't be happening. This is not happening. I'm going crazy. You're not going crazy. You're not going crazy, you fool. Before that, she's going to threaten to leave you. You hear me? She's going to threaten to leave you. Do something about it. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. Uh, I'm going crazy. Dhruv, are you listening? I think we should take a break from all this. Don't you think so? Break? Break from what? I don't understand. You know, break from this. Break from each other. We don't have love between us anymore. Don't say that. Oh, come on. Let the reality set in. We constantly fight with each other. Like I might fall for everything. Your depression, your failure to achieve anything meaningful in life. Don't, 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 don't say that. Don't say that. Look, I, I love you so much. Look, I'll change myself. I'll do anything for you. Look, look, I'm begging of you. I beg of you. I I'll make more money. I'll do whatever it takes. Please, please don't leave me go. It's too late for everything, bro. I've already made up my mind. <laughs> you actually agree in the store. It's <laughs> very <laughs> Yes, yes. It's him, isn't it? Him who? The guy from your office who sends you those obscene texts and photographs. You think I'm a fool? 
Oh, so you've been spying on me. I can't believe that. You say you love me and you've been spying on me. Wow, that makes it easier for me. You need to hear this. I am leaving you and I'm leaving you right now. I, I just want to get as far away from you as possible. I am leaving right now. Samira, don't leave me. Samira! Through her phone. It was her date of birth. What's with her date of birth? Her date of birth was a password. I will, I will. I'll put it down. But you're not going anywhere. Put it away, Droof. Put it away, Droof. Droof! Wait, don't leave me and go anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You can't leave me. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Droof! You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Oh, you're not going anywhere. No, leave me. I love you, Droof. I love you, Samira. I love you. <laughs> Can you check if she's still breathing? 
No. Oh, I'm too scared to, 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 to go in there. Look, I, I've committed a crime. I just deserve to be locked away. But I can't go in there. I can't go in there, I'm sorry. Dhruv has been visiting me for the past six months. The fact that he killed his wife came as a big shock to me. Because he was a normal guy doing a 9 to 5 job. So did his wife really cheat on him? I don't think so. From the time I spent with him, he never mentioned it at all. But he said to me that they both were unhappy with their marriage. Since he was so emotionally attached to her, he didn't want her to lose her. So he believed she may be having an affair. Symptoms of schizophrenia include delusions, inner voices talking to him, questioning him, challenging him, forcing him to take matters into his own hands. Sadly, in his case, that's what happened. After all this, do I think he's guilty? Absolutely. He's 100% guilty. But because of his mental condition, he had no control over his emotions. It still doesn't take away the fact that he killed his wife, whom he loved very dearly.